Don't feel anxious, don't feel shame. If there's a question, it can't wait another day. Don't feel like it's all in vain. I try to remember it ain't a race. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reorganizing the beautiful bookshelves behind me, mainly because Christmas just happened about a week ago, I guess. I have seven new books that need to be placed on the shelf, along with the book I just finished, which is Red Queen. Also, I'm taking Christmas stuff out, so that tree over there, as well as my Nutcracker will be moved. So let's begin. I have my candle lit, I have Taylor Swift's Folklore on on my record player, and I think that we're ready to start. So basically, the first thing I'm gonna do is take all like the little knickknacks and stuff off so then I can get to the books and I think that I'm going to start by organizing it like box by box by genre and if I don't like that I might just go straight back to this rainbow that I really like but I would like to try something new now on my bed over here I have all the things. This is what my bookshelf looks like without those. And now we're just going to take everything off and kind of sort them into genres. And while I'm doing that I'm also going to unhaul a few things. There's only one that I can think of off the top of my head but I'm still going to go through them. It's about happiness in the air. Take a slow, watch the road, stop driving myself insane. Okay, so I have two books that I will be unhauling, and those are Paper Towns, Paper Towns by John Green and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. This one has just been sitting on my shelf for a while, and I realized I don't think I'm ever really going to get to it. And this one, I just read Red Queen, and I just don't think I'm interested in the sequel. And so my friend has read Red Queen, but as far as I know, she hasn't read this one, so I think I'll give it to her. And I'm not sure if she owns Red Queen, so if she doesn't own it, I'll give her Red Queen as well, but if she does, then I'm just gonna keep it for myself. So now, everything looks like that. I just have kind of like rows of books on my floor. So what I'm gonna do now is categorize, categorize them into genres, and then I'll figure out how I'm gonna put those on my shelf. So my piles are this one, which did not fall into a category, historical fiction. These are like my kids books, so they're kind of the ones that I just have for my siblings or because I grew up reading them. Here we have my giant pile of dystopian. This is the selection series, so that one's kind of in between dystopian and romance. So that brings me down here to my contemporary romances. Next slide, I have just plain old contemporaries. Technically, a contemporary mystery type of thing, but whatever, I don't have a pile, enough for that to make a pile even though this one's literally in its own pile. Anyway, moving on here, we have my contemporary mythology, which is basically just a fancy way of saying my Rick Riordan books. After that, we have fantasy. And over here, we have the classics. At the end of this video, I will be going through and telling you every single book that I own, but that'll be at the end once they're all on the shelves. Also, I switched my record out for The Sound of Music. So now, this pile looks like it's about to fall over. So I'm going to move these onto the shelf and we're gonna see how it looks. Feel if there's an answer, it can't wait till another day. Don't regret making mistakes. There's no need, it's just the game. Breathe out, it doesn't matter anyway. Breathe in, it's about happiness in the air. Take a slow, watch the road, stop driving myself in. Here on top of the shelves, we have my big illustrated lightning thief. Then over here, we have three books. They are classics. They do not fit on my shelf. And then just some magazines. Here is the this random book that is not really a book. And then my children's books. Then we have from there through this box all the way to here. We have dystopian. Then overlapping, we have romance bringing us down here. Romance, 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 then contemporary, 
Then here we have my Contemporary Mythology, aka Rick Riordan books. Then we have all my Lee Bardugo fantasies, um, my Harry Potters, and then back there you can find The Hobbit, Keep of the Lost Cities. These are just all fantasies. And then my classics. This is what it looks like from far away. I'm not completely sure if I want to keep it. I kind of liked it with the rainbow order. So I think I'm going to do it in rainbow, but I have like a photo of this. So if I want to put it back, I can. Yeah, so I'm just going to do the same thing I did before, except for this time I'm going to collect them colorly, colorly in color categories and put them on the floor like that. And then I'll put them on the shelf in color order and then I'll see if I like it better like that or if I prefer it like this. <laughs> The colors I have are pink, red, orange, yellow, green, in between blue and green. Pretty sure there's like a specific color that this is, but I have no idea what it is blue, purple, white, gray, and black. So now I'm going to go through and put them all from lightest to darkest gradient and then put them back on the shelf. Oh. Here's the pink pile, the red pile, the orange pile, and the yellow pile. Then we have the greens, that in between green and blue, all the blues, which I have the most, I think. Purples, whites, grays, and finally the blacks. So I feel like this video is pretty much just a bunch of time lapses. We're just gonna time lapse me putting these on and it's gonna be really quick, I think, because they're already in the piles. And then I will take you through all of the books I own. this is what it looks like in rainbow the top i only have the host up there and here's what it looks like so we got the pinks and reds red orange yellow greens the last green and my in between green and blue ones blue onto purple and one white white and gray and black here is the overview I like it like this. So now I know how it looks the other way. So if I want to do it like that in the future, I'll know what to expect. But I think I'm going to leave it like this. So on to the tour of all the books. First, we obviously have my big illustrated copy of The Lightning Thief by Rick Reardon and The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Here we have The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. The second in the Kane Chronicles series, The Throne of Fire by Rick Reardon. Keeper of the Lost Cities Unlocked by Shannon Messenger. Keeper of the Lost Cities Flashback by Shannon Messenger. First in the Kane Chronicles Chronicle series by Rick Reardon, The Red Pyramid, and Catching Fire, the second in the Hunger Games series by Susan Collins. First, we have Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo, A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adhe, The Elite by Kira Cass, Allegiant by Veronica Roth, 
You Have a Match by Emma Lord, The Heroes of Olympus, The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan, The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, and on to the third and final box on the top row, we have Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, My Sister's Keeper by Jody Picoult, Truly Tyler by Terry Libinson, Insurgent by Veronica Raw, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, Keeper of the Lost Cities Never Seen by Shannon Messenger, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Susan Collins, Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott, Keeper of the Lost Cities Exile by Shannon Messenger, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief by Rick Reardon. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Sea of Monsters by Rick Reardon. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Titan's Curse by Rick Reardon. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Reardon. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Last Olympian by Rick Reardon. Positively Izzy by Terry Libinson. P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Hahn. All's Fair in Middle School by Victoria Jamieson. And the last book on this section, The Selection by Kira Cass. 365 Days of Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. The Cain Chronicles, The Serpent's Shadow by Rick Reardon. Keeper of the Lost Cities, Nightfall by Shannon Messenger. Becoming Brianna by Terry Libinson. The Heroes of Olympus, The Lost Hero by Rick Reardon. Mockingjay by Susan Collins. Orphan Island by Laurel Snyder. And The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. The Heroes of Olympus, The House of Hades by Rick Reardon. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. Keeper of the Lost Cities Everblaze by Shannon Messenger. You Should See Me in a Crown by Leia Johnson. The Heroes of Olympus, The Blood of Olympus by Rick Reardon. The Crown by Kira Cass. Anne of the Island by L.M. Montgomery. Invisible Emmy by Terry Libinson. Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. The One by Kira Cass. Anne of Avonlea by L.M. Montgomery. Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly. Oop. If I Stay by Gail Foreman, The Air by Kira Cass, Divergent by Veronica Roth, The Infernal Devices Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, The Infernal Devices Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, The Infernal Devices Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, The Lunar Chronicles Cinder by Marissa Meyer, The Hunger Games by Susan Collins, Keeper of the Lost Cities Legacy by Shannon Messenger, the Maze Runner by James Dashner. Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. And this one doesn't want to stand up. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. A bonus chapter sampler of The Red Pyramid by Rick Reardon. Graphic novel version. Also not shown here, I have he The Here's Olympus, The Son of Neptune by Rick Reardon. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. The Wicked King by Holly Black and The Queen of Nothing also by Holly Black. And I'm pretty sure that's all the books that I have that are being lent out and are not on my shelves at the moment. Now we have to get on to putting little trinkets back on. Slow as you are still breathing the waste your time keep fighting even Here is the final final overview. Also, the book that I'm currently reading is None, because I finished Red Queen yesterday and I haven't gotten the chance to start a new one. So I think I'm going to read You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing me reorganize my bookshelves twice. Please subscribe if you have seen some of my content and or you just enjoyed this video. Like this video if you enjoyed it and turn on post notifications if you want to get a notification whenever I post a new video. Otherwise, I tend to post every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is all for today and I will see you next week with another video.